Hello our Juicy Co-Creators, Lily here from beautiful British Columbia in Canada in Vancouver with Hualactin today. Oh, Simp, yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for having us. Oh, thank you for the interest and I'm interested in what's going to be happening here today. Yes, yes, because you're actually Hualactin is an international carver from mm. uh, Indian, you're a Squamish native Indian. Yes. And so this is really your inheritance, you've inherited Yes, I have. Uh, my background is um, Kwakwakiwak on my mother's side and Skopmish uh, on my father's side. So I'm carrying two sides and uh, one side I belong to a Thunderbird clan, the other side I belong to a wolf clan. Mm. Yes. So animals and wood and yes, it's very, I, very present. It does and it, and it gives us a lot of teachings too, right? It teaches us uh, a lot of things about strength or you know it's if things that we're looking for in our life and and also you know just to help us carry on through our own life journey mm. yes. so what do you learn when you're actually carving this wood what I'm what carving does the wood teaches you then? oh well it teaches you patience for one uh -huh. right and uh, and also teaches us uh, especially the tools you know if we look after the tools it'll look after us right mm. so when we have our own tools we look after we'll make sure neither they don't touch one another because that edge is sharp. So we want to maintain it sharp. So we look after it. Mm. Yes. Mm. So yeah. you've you've done some beautiful things. We saw a lot of totem around Vancouver. Can you tell us the significance and meaning <coughs> of totem? Yes, there is totem poles in Vancouver, but totem poles aren't from art belong that don't belong in Vancouver. But we do have house posts and welcome figures for the Coast Salish people. The totem poles are coming from you know like from the Kwakwakiwak, the Haida, the Nishkas. So those type of poles are here, right? So, and uh, we are all w one on the coast. So, when we came across paths before, so we feast and potlatch, and we know about one another, mm -hmm. and more so now because we did a canoe journey called Tribal Journeys, and we all came together and feasted in one area, mm. and it goes on yearly, and it's called Tribal Journeys. Mm -hmm. So, so, but you, you do still through those totem poles or the different sculptures that you have, there is real significance and meaning. It does. Each it, animal represents something. It does, but it also represents what the family wants to share with it because we were, we belong to the oral history, right? We didn't write things down. Uh -huh. So things were passed on orally through vision. So when we see something, it'll trigger a memory, what that, what that was, whatever was said about that mm -hmm. through that family. Mm -hmm. So like, I know that you have a totem pole here that you've done for your mother. Yes. So there's three different animals in there. Can yes. you tell us? <clears throat> I have the Thunderbird on it. Uh-huh. And, and it's present everywhere, the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird, yeah. The Thunderbird is something like greater than us, right? It's sort of like, uh, it takes the form of an eagle. Uh -huh. But you have a crown on top to symbolize it's supernatural. So it's all around us. So it's like the creator, some, something greater than us. Mm -hmm. And then below it, I have a double-headed serpent. Mm -hmm. And the serpent is all also my mother can carry that on her crest and it's supernatural also And it's sort of like it gives us a direction where what kind of direction can we go in life? If we choose to go this direction. It'll happen to us. If we choose to go in this direction That'll happen to us, mm -hmm. but what it really comes down to we have to find our center part like in a canoe We have to find a balance mm -hmm. and that's where our power is mm -hmm. Beautiful. See, you know, so there's a long story behind that to teach us those lessons, right? Yeah you have a canoe here too. I yes. don't know how much of this, yes, uh, this greeting figure we can see, because yep. we're here. We're here where you, you actually do some more sweat lodge. Well, you know, you do some. Yeah, I come in here and sweat and you pray sweat. and uh, tell our secrets, and uh, it's sort of like a place of counsel too. We help. I'll help some people here if they need it. You know, I'll just invite oh. them here and have a sweat and go over things and just to sweat it out and release it. Mm -hmm. yes. And this figure here is welcome. This us. is a welcome figure too. We lift our hands up to welcome people, uh -huh. and if it's closer to us, we're thanking you. Uh huh. Right. Mm. And the canoe is there. In the canoe, yeah, to symbolize the journey. Uh -huh. So we're everyone. I share that when we're in in this lodge here. Uh, that uh, you know, our life is our own journey, right? So we can choose to choose our direction in life so we can we have the power to pull that canoe to move it to that direction where we want it to go mm. right so you have choice in your life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what is for you how you we were brought up how is the relationship with this life force 
do you really trust it and just follow its flow or you really feel that you're you're co-creating with it or how what is your you know your what is the dynamic oh yes we do we have you know we have to create our own path right so we have to move in those directions but carry those teachings with us mm -hmm. from our elders and the elders before them right so a lot of those teachings are coming through and we carry that and actually when i really look at it even when i travel around different parts of the world we all have the same teachings but we just tell it differently mm -hmm. right and uh you know i've worked in the school systems with kids and i would to get them to relate it to what I'm saying is I would say, well, let's take a look at Lord of the Rings, for instance, <laughs> where the power is, or, or Star Wars, you know, the, the light side, the dark side, you know, mm -hmm. those kind of things could come in. So it kind of puts their mind in the place where they can understand it more, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. the stories are all quite similar. Mm -hmm. But what's beautiful is <coughs> that you really, uh, uh, you really had the transmission, I mean, your, your ancestor really gave you so many tools and so many teachings. Yes. Like s some of us have not, and I think it's really missing in our society right now. We need to learn from our elders and, and indigenous people too, and Aborigin. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and if we really look at it, because I like using the canoe as an example, we're all yeah. in the canoe together. <laughs> we're, we're all in this world together too, right? It's a vehicle mm -hmm. that we have to be able to uh, learn to come together, to pull together, to find balance. And we're going to learn from one another because, you know, we all have a gift and that gift if we share it we're going to come a lot closer to one another and become more at peace with one another right mm -hmm. and uh, we get to understand one another more in, in a grassroots level mm -hmm. right so yeah the teachings are there for us and to share and that's what it is in our our culture is to share right and uh cultural sharing is uh you know telling our stories and passing them on orally and putting some maybe put some uh theater to it like in the Kwakwakiwak they use the masks mm -hmm. and they come out and they tell the story through dance through masks through blankets or whatever mm -hmm. and uh, that helps pass on the messages to share it with everybody that comes to travel to visit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you carve through glass through uh, <coughs> on, on the metal and oh yeah I work in all mediums yeah I love all it mediums. yeah all mediums yeah so what is your favorite one I have no favorite I just like in when I look at, sometimes I design work and I wonder, how the, how did that ever happen? Right? <laughs> and I, I have that feeling that it has come through me, through the ancestors or something greater in myself that this is a message that has to come out of it. Yeah. Right. And I think about those in my mind, what I want to help bring out, but when it comes out, it just blows me away sometimes. Wow, mm. did I just do that? Right. So you, do you pray or do you set an intention? What kind of space are you in before you start? Yeah, I just sort of like, I just come at my own peace with myself and think about what I want to come across and just pay attention to whatever's around me, right? And, and what's inside me and how can I bring that out? Yeah. And my hand starts moving and I start sketching, mm, right? Like a trance. Yeah, trance. It's yeah. beautiful to be at service like that. I think a lot of artists experience that more than people that are on computers for example yeah. <laughs> you do yeah. have this kind of a lot of artists describe this connection mm -hmm. that, well, that like we could all experience in life but I don't think we'd let go enough <laughs> I like the technology because I'm working with Adobe Illustrator right now and I'm yeah. drawn with that but it's a lot slower for me but you know with hands I can just make it happen right uh -huh. but you know with the technology I can do more things with it yeah right? so you use technology with, yeah. yeah yeah you do use it yes yeah but I guess when you, when you really feel inspired, is the inspiration coming through as much? Or? Oh, yeah. Well, I would do it on paper first. Yeah. Then move it into the, yeah. to the computer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And then you play the drums? I do. A lot of I, drumming. I, I drum, sing, yeah. We, like when we, in a canoe, if we travel to another village, we'd go through protocol. We make an announcement who we are, where we're from what's the purpose of the visit and ask permission to come ashore. So that's the protocol. And one of it is we would sing before we even get close to that community. So that community knows and hear, hears a song. They know, probably heard that song before and they'll say, oh yeah, we know who they are mm. before we even arrive getting close to their shores. But if we didn't sing back in that time and we're moving towards their village, that's a threat, right? So, so we had to do protocol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how, I know you've expanded, <coughs> your, your art is represented everywhere around the world now. Yes. 
and uh, you you did some work with the Olympic Games also and yeah and I went through I, a process and there's your totem uh, there's some uh, uh, sculptures that are in Whistler and everywhere and here in Vancouver so yeah. I mean you must be pretty blown away by that and at the same time you must have done something that you know there's a lot of artists there's a lot of carvers out there yes. but you you reached it on you you well, how can you how do you explain that your success I, I I don't really can have an explanation, but I know that uh, my father taught me. He says, "Well, do your best and always do better, right?" So just strive to do better each time you do some work, you know. And you do that, it'll pay off in the long run. So, like my son now, I teach him, you know, just do your best. And I don't give him too much direction on it, but if he asks me a question, I'll answer it for him. And if I don't have an answer for him, I'll think about it some more and come back with it to him with an answer, right? And uh, so it's just more or less, you know, so I look at it for me, it was trial and error. Mm -hmm. So we had to stumble over a few things to, to mm -hmm. get where I'm at, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, Were you ever in conflict with other bands or other, or even people that part, that, that, that are they're following your traditions? No, I had, I might have had some, some people come across me that are, you know, artists and say, hey, that's not tradition, right? And I says, well, how do you know that? Mm -hmm. And why I say that is because I am Kokwakiwak, I'm Coast Salish, and I am who I am, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the work, and I'm doing the best I can, and I'm doing it in a good way, mm -hmm. you know? So how can you say that it's not traditional? Mm -hmm. I'm alive yet, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. to me, it's tradition, Yeah. right? Yeah. So. Yeah, and, it's, and, I, and I find that really interesting <coughs> too, what you're, because there's always people to criticize, and mm -hmm. there's always jealousy everywhere. Yes. But it is how much we s stay focused on our direction. Yeah, yeah, everybody has an opinion, and I'll let them have <laughs> that opinion, right? And I'll just, but as long as I share my opinion, about, you know, yeah. to say this is where I'm at with it. Yeah, it's right. like your son, he's carving yeah. right now a garbage bag, yeah? Yes. What did you teach him there? <laughs> or what did, why did he decide to do I that? I was wondering, why Why do you want to carve a garbage bag, right? <laughs> I, he says, well, well, his idea was, you know, to, because one person wasn't giving him a good criticism and uh, critique, but yeah. he never had no constructive cr criticism, so he carved a garbage bag. So when it was getting critiqued, he carved it for this person that was going to be there, right? Yeah. So he knows how to already yeah. stay focused. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. What is what would you say is the biggest message throughout everything that you're, you're you're doing and carving? What is your intention here? My intention is to bring people together. You know, like we're all we're all the same. Not even just the people, but also to keep in mind with the environment. Like we shared that bowl, the uh, broken glass bowl. Mm -hmm. You know, the wild salmon. What if we don't didn't do this? We wouldn't have wild salmon. So we got to keep that in mind yet, right? Not just with the salmon, but all things around the world, right? We got to think about. You know, all these tragedies that are going on that's outside of us, but, you know, those a lot of people are hurting right now, and, you know, you think about, oh, how they're feeling, and, you know, they're lost right now, and and uh, so messages are like, you know, to help people in the sense, you know, like when something came up, I sent some money to help out, right, and a little bit, you know, if everybody put a little bit in, it'll mm -hmm. help them out a lot, right, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm, and you're a lot about the oneness too, and the and union the and the yeah. communion. Yes, is a big part of your message, especially the one that we saw outside, there with the with the the medal. Yeah, the medal. Yeah, yes. Beautiful. Well, mm. thank you for this moment. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for yeah. opening this universe to us, okay. and so that we can share this on an international level everywhere. It's very uh, inspiring. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> much love, my Jessica creators <coughs> from Vancouver. Wait, Chokyo. Wait, Masas. Way <laughs> chokyo means take care. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> well, I call it, uh, the piece is called Snam Smana, and it means the strong spirit of the mountain. And what we have here is it takes the shape of a Lionsgate Bridge, which is heading east over here. Uh -huh. And it was built for the Guinness family when they built over here. So then uh, eventually they called it the Lions. So what the lines, they also called the mountains up here in North Shore the Lions. But in our stories, it talks about these are two women that came together and brought peace to two people, two groups of people, the Squamish and the Haida. And they did something great, so they were turned into stone. So we call it the sisters, right? So that's what this piece is about. But it's also to do with the Squamish and West Vancouverites to bring us together and to learn more about one another. So this sculpture is to help us come together as one. Mm. And it's symbolized with a thunderbird, and the thunderbird is something greater than us, so it covers all of us. And uh, the paddles up symbolizes uh, 
to come in peace and to have great respect with one another uh -huh. and the bridge itself to bridge bridge together and the canoe to symbolize we're pulling together we're all in this together we all have to maintain balance and uh, then underneath it we have a basket to symbolize the wealth and then the medicinal garden to symbolize the healing the growth and the nurturing mm. so it all ties in just to, so it helps to bring something into a mind to to come together with as one well i look at it myself as uh, the beginning really of a of an exploration that's the reason we're exploring. You don't know what you'll run into on an exploration. What the sky looks like, what the stars look like. Uh, do they still twinkle or are they a steady light when you get outside the atmosphere?